Hey everyone, John here, and today we're gonna talk about the gun lance from Monster Hunter. The Greatsword and the Gun Lance are actually my two favorite weapons from Monster Hunter. It lays into a Monster Hunter world and it's charge blade, because I've never used a charge blade, I don't really want to use it! So on Monster on the Monster Hunter Amino app, which by the way you guys should totally check out, link in the description down below. So on our on the Amino Monster Hunter app, I actually put up a poll for everyone to vote on. Which you guys should probably check out the Monster Hunter Amino in the description down below if you want to check it out. It's a free app, really cool app, and everyone on there is really chill. They're really nice people. Uh, I actually put a poll up on there though for everyone to vote for a uh, weapon that I should make a video about, and the majority of you pretty much chose the Gun Lance. So yeah, just like in the last video that I did when I talked about the Great Sword, I will not be going into combos very deeply in this video just because I haven't played all the different Monster Hunter games. And I don't know how many combos were changed in those games. I know that in Monster World, the combos seem to be very similar to Portable 3rd, at least in some aspects, some some of the weapons. But I won't be going too much into the combos. It's going to be more of a tactics kind of video and just things to keep in mind while you're using the weapon. Also keep in mind that I've only played currently, well I have played some of the uh, 3DS games, but I haven't played them enough for me to really give my opinion on them because yeah, I don't think it's very fair unless I actually beat the game or I've only put a couple of hours of uh, Monster Hunter Generations I believe it was called I'm not even sure exactly which one it was on the 3DS but the monster games that I've played a lot and know a lot about are Freedom Unite, Try, and Portable 3rd so that's the information that I'm putting into this video for the most part and I'll be putting in some stuff that I know about world here and there but Anyway, let's get started. So the gun lance is literally as it sounds, a lance with a gun at the end of it. It's, but it's really more of a cannon, really. Bitches love cannons. In the right hands, the gun lance is actually pretty versatile. It can actually cut off tails, and it's really good at breaking off shells. It's not as good at cutting off tails as a long sword or a great sword, and it's not as good at breaking off shells, in my opinion, as a hammer. But what it makes up for in lack at cutting or breaking up shells as well as these other weapons is that it has more to work with so it with the gun lines you can shield yourself you can you can shield yourself it comes in multiple different shellings so certain bullet types will have wider range longer range more damage less damage but I'll get more into those uh, later on in the video a big thing to keep in mind when using a gun lance is the cannon really is good for supplementing damage. So when you're stabbing at a monster, cutting them, always remember to just quick put a quick blast from the cannon right uh, at the end of a combo or in the middle of strikes. It's really good for just to supplement the damage. And it's also a really good just quick stab block weapon. You can get really into a monster's face and just quickly stab jab and just blast in their face. It does have its weaknesses though, the cannon it, the cannon really, really uses up a lot of sharpness if you use it too much. So you have to kind of balance this out with how much you want to spam the cannon and how much you want to cut the monster and how many wet zones you should have on you. Honestly, every time you take gun lines, you should probably bring at least 20 wet zones. It just keep getting more and more wet zones because it's, it's going go, it's gonna, it's gonna to get dull really fast. And not too many gun lances have really good sharpness either, which is something I noticed in Freedom Unite, Portable 3rd, and in Try. In my experience, the gun lance is, is very, 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 very good at har harassing monsters. So any monster that is slower than other monsters are really susceptible to this, just because you can just quickly get a lot of stabs and, and cannon fires in there, and then just block off some of the damage. Keep in mind, you can't block everything that a monster could throw at you. But you can block a lot of it. And of course, this all have to do with how much stamina you have left. So keep the stamina bar in mind when you are blocking. The gun lance also has a really good jump back uh, ability. So in the middle of you fighting, you can just push, at least in my controls, X to jump back. And this is kind of the replacement for the roll because you can't roll with the gun lance. So again, keep that in mind when using gun lance. You cannot roll out of combos, you cannot roll out of attacks, you kind of have to jump back. And on like a roll, it gives you, it makes you kind of a smaller target to get hit by um, monsters. You can like roll under attacks. The jump back does not do that. You can still get slapped right in the face by a tail if you're not doing it correctly. 
Uh, there's also a bit of a thing that I've noticed that it's kind of hard to do sometimes. But when you are in the middle of attacking, pushing X left and right makes it so you jump left or right in the attack. You can't really do this unless you are attacking, which is kind of a weird thing I noticed. So to do this, you have to stab the monster, so just initiate any attack, and then take your analog stick left or right, and then push X, and you will hop in that direction. Uh, the hop is actually pretty decent at getting you out of danger if you spam it. It does take a good chunk of stamina though, so keep that in mind. But finally, my favorite thing about the gun lance is the wire and fire. The wire and fire blast is actually really powerful. It is a charge up attack for the gun lance. It charges up the, the front of the lance, fires a huge explosive attack, and does a lot of damage. But it takes a while before you can charge it back up because it needs to cool down before you can use it again. Uh, the cooling of the weapon is actually indicated by this little thing on the side of the lance that it will pop open or will just steam red. And you'll know that you have to wait a little bit before you can use it again. Once it closes up again, you can use it again. And this also burns up a lot of sharpness. Like, a lot. So be very careful. And it is also really easy to waste. So when you're using it, rem remember, you should really memorize the monster's pattern. And if it's staying still for a couple seconds and you know it's going to be there for a couple seconds, then you can use it. I would always recommend for anyone who's just starting up with the Gun Lance to... Only use the wire and fire blast when the monster is on its side, you know, flailing and, um, you know, hurt. Or wait until they're asleep. Also, a good idea to, you know, use the wire and fire blast when someone's asleep is to supplement the damage with big barrel bombs. So put down a couple big barrel bombs around the monster's head and charge up your wire and fire blast and blast the monster. It'll do a lot of damage. So remember that. Gun lances also come in three different shelling types, at least from what I know from my games. I know there's more in games like Generation, it goes up to like, I believe, five. But from the ones that I'm talking about, the, the shellings go up to just three. Normal, wide, and long. So, normal is the one with the most shells. You can fire multiple rounds, like I think it's up to five rounds. Long makes the explosive attacks go farther away so it gives you more range but less girth of the explosion you also have like I, I believe two or three shots and wide gives you two or three shots but the explosive radius is very very wide but not very long the long and wide shellings also do more damage than normal keep that in mind as well just I say I've been saying keep that in mind a lot <laughs> but yeah the gun lines is one of those those things where you have to keep a lot of things in your head and, and know what to use and what not to use in certain times. So that's why I keep saying keep that in mind. <laughs> Sorry. I, still, I know it's a little annoying. When using the gun lance, you should always remember that you're going to be very, very slow. I'd make the argument that it's actually slower than the greatsword, but the greatsword doesn't give you quite as much defense as the gun lance. So it kind of makes up for the slowness with being a walking tank. But knowing when to put your gun lance away is really really important even more for the gun lance than the greatsword because the greatsword you can at least roll into position the gun lance you're just walking very slowly and you can't roll forward so yeah putting your weapon away with the gun lance is probably more crucial than the greatsword knowing when to do it and when not to do it is important because there's times where you can put it away and run towards the monster or times where you need to stand your ground and wait for the monster to come to you and that's all got to be up to you and what you know about the monster Another thing to remember is the gun lance can have trouble fighting monsters that are really quick. So monsters like Narakuga can kind of get around your shield if it jumps behind you and just smacks you. And that can happen a lot. Also, I don't I don't believe you can block Narakuga's ground slam tail thing. So I think maybe you can if it's like splash damage, but I don't think you can block direct directly under its tail attack. I could be wrong about that. I haven't tried it myself. I kind of try to avoid getting hit by that at all costs. Also, monsters that love to attack you head-on repeatedly bashing against your shield over and over and over again can destroy your stamina and make your shield basically useless. Monsters like Zyager. Zyager? Zyager. Zyager. I can't never say this damn thing's name right. Monsters like Zyager here can drain your stamina really, really quickly if you stand in front of its feet-stomping thing for too long. So remember to get out of there when you think you won't be able to take too many hits. Personally, in my opinion, I believe the gun lance is a much better weapon when up against slower monsters than faster monsters. Faster monsters are kind of the gun lance's weak spot. I can see people making arguments against this. I personally have done it myself when I fought 
two Narukugas with my gun lines. I didn't think it was a good idea, but it can be a pain in the ass, um, and it can it can be done. But I would per definitely suggest going at a, say, a Rathleos, a Raytheon. You can probably take on the Devil Joe with um, with the gun lines as well, and have not as a hard time as if you were fighting it with, say, a katana or something. It all depends on your play style and how you like to play. And keep in mind that all hunters have different problems with different monsters. That includes me, but that's just my personal opinion. Hey everyone, this is John. After I recorded this video, uh, I actually forgot to mention one thing about the gun lines. It's really important. It is really good for getting friends out of situations. So if you're fighting a monster like a Rathleos and they shoot a fireball at your friend and you're right next to them, you can shoot them with the gun part of the gun lance and send them flying out of uh, danger. It's really good for getting people out of bad situations because, you know, when you're in the animation of getting knocked down, you're invulnerable. So it's really helpful in that way. It can also be used to troll people, which I would not recommend doing because it's kind of a dicky thing to do. But it's good for saving friends. I've done it a lot on our streams. If you go back and watch our original Monster Hunter uh, live streams, I've saved Noberto and Stephanie before from getting hit. And it's really good in that way. So if you want to be a good support friend when you're trying to help someone from getting hit, it, that, it works. It's great. It's very useful. So, yeah. But, yeah. So that was my video on the gun lance. Uh, if you have any ideas of what videos I should talk about next, leave in the comments down below. If you have any suggestions of how to improve these kind of videos, also let me know in the comments down below. I'm pretty interested in knowing how to make my videos better. And again, check out the Amino app, or Monster Hunter Amino app, down in the description down below if you want to check it out. There's a lot of information about Monster Hunter there. And they're all, again, really cool people. And I would also suggest following me on the Amino app. I'm on there. So, yeah. Find me. Also, if you wouldn't mind checking out my Monster Hunter playlist of me talking about my top 10 favorite Monster Hunters. Uh, did that. My top 10 favorite monsters and Monster Hunter news is a playlist right there. Or if you want to see something similar to Monster Hunter, something you might enjoy now, I highly suggest checking out my Dragon's Dogma playthrough. I'm on part 20, not 20, I'm on part 16 currently, and part 17 will be out sometime next week. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. You guys are awesome. See you guys next video. Bye!